Right, today we're going to look at drawing curves in Vectorworks and SketchUp. Um, both of them kind of have a similar methodology behind how the curve is drawn, so I figured I may as well just do them both together. I just scribbled this down on a bit of paper. It's slightly ugly and, uh, well, it'll have to do. So I'm just going to draw the border around it uh, and take the fill off that. So the tool we're going to use is the polyline. You click the polyline, you get a bunch of different options here. Generally, the ones I use is this first one, straight lines, and then I pretty much always use this one for curves, which is the tangent arc mode. So I'm going to click that, zoom in a little bit here. I might have to neaten that curve up. So the first thing, you'll notice that locks onto the border. When you click it, the first bit of the curve, you need to set the sort of the steepness, I'll say, you know, how intense the curve is. And my computer's just started spinning. Um, so I'm going to start it here because I know that roughly when I do that and click, it's going to pull out into the curve, the angle of the curve that I want. That's going to come with experience. When I've next clicked, what I now know is going to draw a section of a circle. You'll see on the screen these dotted lines that come up that are basically just triangles. And the way the tangent by arc mode, I tried to look at the mass, but I didn't really understand it to explain it more coherently. Um, it's just two, two lines of equal uh, distance where they touch the circle. That determines the sort of the depth of the curve. So I'm going to click again here. Again, the mouse is following me round. That's not perfect, but I'll show you how to tweak that in a second. And then we'll take it up there, double click, and then that's my line done there. And I'll take the fill out, and I'll just put another one in just to demonstrate again, probably start it here. And I reckon I'll click about there. Uh, so you'll see when there's when you get some unexpected weirdness, you can just press delete a couple of times. Um, and that will take you back in a slightly odd fashion and never quite as it, you'd expect it. But hey, it's never going to be easy. And there I'm holding down space as well to get that hand up, which I mentioned in my last video. That's not perfect. But hey, and we'll double click there. To fill off that one now. One thing you might not know with po uh, polylines is if you double click them, you get these little handles, it changes from being all around the shape. What this means is that you can zoom in and very slightly move that. What you don't want to do is move it too much because actually it also slightly shifts out um, the adjacent segment. So if I was to go like this, you'll notice that every, the whole line goes off and you end up with little sort of wonky bits like that. So you have to be pretty careful and only do small adjustments, otherwise you'll just end up chasing your tail, trying to fix everything. So I'll, I'll just demonstrate that. Yeah, this is not too bad. Then you've got to fix that one. Then I'm going to have to go down here and fix this one as well. So yeah, that is Vectorworks. And we're going to come back to that drawing at another point. Right, on to SketchUp. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that you'd need a special plugin to draw good curves. I disagree with that. Um, I think the Arc tool is a very good tool once you understand how it works. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did in Vectorworks, just put a, board, a border around my drawing, delete the contents, and then I'm going to start with the Arc tool. Again, it'll lock onto the edge of your drawing. Now, the first one is the one that you need to place quite carefully and accurately. Not that I've really done that here. Again, we're going to have to delete that, which SketchUp automatically fills in. Now, once you've done the first section of your curve, consecutive pieces will show up turquoise when they're a kind of nice curve that's properly aligned with the previous curve. You will also see these two dotted lines, which and the fact it keeps popping up saying tangent at vertex. That just sort of indicates that that's a similar way um, of drawing the curves that Vectorworks uses. So again, I'm going to think of my curve as being broken up into smaller uh, segments, which make up bits of a circle, basically. So that one looks good to me. And then I think this one all the way up here, zoom in just a bit up there. That looks pretty good. We'll start there and then take that to the boundary. Again, that's going to fill itself in. We'll leave that bit. 
Again, start the arc tool up here. It's maybe not quite right, so I'm going to press escape. Try again, move a little bit further along. That looks good. Delete the inside, one of SketchUp's more annoying habits. We've got that bit. And that's a bit harder to get right sometimes, so you may have to do a couple of smaller, smaller arcs. Or just suck it down that it's not going to be quite exactly as you drew it, which is also fine. And then we'll do that. Again, those dotted lines are coming up. That's now locked to the edge. Done that. Delete that. Then I've got my filled in shape. So it is actually pretty easy to draw curves in SketchUp. You just need to be careful and make sure that you are also sufficiently zooming in. And here, on the blue axis, if you see that, no good at all, because if I put that curve in, the blue axis is actually the vertical axis. So if I undo that and just draw a curve, what you want is for the little that little square to be sort of magenta, the one on the end of the pointer, and it will say on face in image. That will make sure that it's flat. And then, as before, you can just carry on drawing your arc. So yeah, hopefully that's pretty clear uh, and you can see that you can indeed make good curve lines in SketchUp and Vectorworks.